Pharma major Lupin is on the prowl. CEO Vinita Gupta says the company will consider acquisitions to nurture its specialty business, build presence in new geographies and improve its tech capabilities. Gupta also gave the strongest indication that Lupin may be in the running for GSK's branded drugs portfolio. Here's a slice of that conversation with Mini Menon. We have built our business for the last, uh, you know, uh, 10, 10 plus years is when we really transform the business organically. So we want to continue to build on our execution strength on, on the organic front, uh, but supplement it with inorganic strokes. Uh, and we have very well identified um, areas of focus for acquisitions. We want to be able to build our specialty business through acquisitions in the US as well as other parts of the world. Um, we want to be able to uh, uh, get into new geographies, uh, so increase scale from that perspective, get into geographies that we're not present in. Uh, today, 80% of our revenues are in US, Europe, uh, India, and Japan. We're not present in Europe, or we have a minuscule present in Europe, 3% of our revenues. Uh, we have a very limited presence in Latin America. Just acquired a company in uh, Mexico and continue to look at other opportunities to build Latin America. Uh, likewise in Southeast Asia. So Venika, a lot of your acquisitions have been strategic. Mm -hmm. uh, have you thought of acquiring for scale? And in that case, what would it entail? We haven't uh, looked to acquire for scale only, scale per se. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've never had the mindset of getting to a number just any which way. It always has to be strategic for us. But as we look at uh, our current base, you know, $2 billion revenue base, for us, we are looking at acquisitions at a different scale today that will add a certain critical mass to the organization. Uh, we still would like to be able to um, you know, get acquisitions that achieve our multiple aspirations of growing our specialty business or getting into geographies uh, you know, that, that, that uh, uh, are on a wish list or um, technology capabilities that uh, 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 we don't have today that we'd like to acquire. But uh, in terms of uh, acquiring scale, we'd like to be able to do it through strategic acquisitions. So let's uh, talk about strategy and scale together. Uh, there are strong reports or rumors that you are looking at GSK's uh, uh, branded assets, uh, a portion of the branded assets business. Uh, would that make sense? Uh, how far are you? And uh, what, would that be strategically fitting into your scheme of things? I wouldn't like to comment on market speculation. Okay, but let's look at it from a, a, a hypothetical strategic point of view. Does it make sense? You spoke about how a lot of the big pharmaceutical companies are now, for the first time, you know, looking at divesting some of their core mm -hmm. uh, assets. Would it make sense for you to take uh, on some of these assets at a stage where you really want to go up the uh, speciality ladder? Yeah, certainly to, to be able to expand our specialty business in the U.S., um, get into the European specialty uh, market as well as other parts of the world, uh, it, it is one avenue. So, so certainly um, uh, it is one of the avenues to, to explore. Um, um, likewise, uh, you know, if some of the assets come with infrastructure in markets where we don't have infrastructure, uh, wanting to build commercial infrastructure, it could make sense. GSK specifically is more focused on the U.S. and European markets. Europe is not a place that you've really had too much of a market share. In fact, you're a small player out there. Mm -hmm. Would the next acquisition be also specific to a developed, evolved market like Europe? Uh, we certainly have a high focus in uh, trying to acquire for Europe. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, um, are looking aggressively at Eastern Europe as well as uh, some of the Western European countries. Uh, earlier this year, uh, we brought in a head of uh, Europe, uh, a gentleman who used to lead uh, Teva's business in Eastern Europe, and has has uh, led both Western as well as Eastern European markets. Uh, but to us, we wanted to uh, uh, to bring in someone who has been there and done it. And uh, um, currently, we are evaluating multiple opportunities within Europe. Valuations are very high at this point also. If you see some of the deals, they're very big deals. And uh, till now, you haven't done those kind of big deals. You have the appetite because you have a lot of cash in your books. I know you generated a lot of cash last year too. And your debt equity ratio is okay. So are you, uh, you know, in terms of size, would, you, would it be a leap of faith, the next one? Um, it's always an educated guess. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, it's a combination of different criteria that uh, we put into the mix as we look at acquisition opportunities. 
and uh, um, we haven't really limited our, uh, our lens to a certain scale because a lot of uh, um, um, you know the, what, what uh, uh, an asset is worth uh, you know depending on the value of the asset you can raise capital against it as well so we haven't really uh, defined that we're going to do acquisitions only at at this scale we look at what we can build with it in terms of value. So this uh, last year was a big year for acquisition. So this year is going to be also, you think. And uh, I know you won't give me specifics on the acquisition right now because, you know, I, I'm sure uh, a lot of negotiations are happening. My question to you is that if there were three things that you would be looking at for an acquisition, what would it be? Would it be the same as you have done so far in terms of strategic fit? Um, I mean, the, the three areas that uh, we are looking for acquisitions, like I mentioned, are to build a specialty business, in particular in the U.S., as well as take it outside of the U.S., uh, geographic presence into regions that we are not present in, and uh, uh, technology capabilities to enhance our technology capabilities, complement uh, our current capability.